Good morning. Welcome back to Here's the Common Game. It may not be morning when you're watching this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I figured I would do an update and just update you about my life. Um, it's been a while. Uh, did uh, I think the last one was, what, a couple years ago on the 100 Days of Magic thing? So, uh, we are, what are we at? I have deck number 675 done at this point. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when this is going to air. You may have already seen it by now. Um, yeah, I just record things. Anyway, if you have noticed, I have started doing more daily content. Uh, deck a day, uh, uh, treasure hunt, sorting through the, all these random boxes of stuff. But uh, <clears throat> I have time now. And the reason why I have time is, uh, oh gosh, um, I guess you could say I'm no longer gainfully employed. <laughs> I have uh, retired from my professional life. Uh, we all knew that was coming. Uh, it just came one year before the initial plan. I had a six-year plan, and it essentially became a five-year plan. Um, and I'm there. So I am uh, retired from that business, and... But that business has taught me, uh, you know, because I, I was in it for 30 years. Yeah, 30, 31 years. So, uh, the channel, we continue to grow, uh, getting real close to that 5,000 number. I have uh, a lot more time to build, record decks, and so I'm working on that every single day. Um, in a allotted time frame, though, so I don't get burnt out, you know. But um, my mind is sharper because I'm not exhausted at, at the end of a 16-hour day or what have you. So uh, the channel is coming along quite nicely. I have, uh, to finish that plan, to what I started on, was, and it, it, it's very important that a stress is I'm going to keep the two things separate um, because I'm me and I can't not do anything <laughs> I've got to do something about in 2008 I opened up a game shop um, I ran it for two years that's how long of a lease I signed it was uh, now I ran that in addition to my 60 hour a week job um, took a lot of time and at the uh, the building that I was in was not the best shape so when that lease was up I had a couple things and I, I just said you know what I'll take this to the house this was a good experiment so in the 11 years since then uh, I've just been kind of you know doing this <laughs> so, uh, but I am, uh, taking steps to reopen. I don't know when, um, it'll be here locally somewhere in the West Tennessee area. Uh, but, uh, I'm not exactly sure of the when and the where, but y'all remember the, you know, all, all these boxes, uh, where I bought the uh, the remaining inventory of that LGS, well, that was everything. That was, you know, tables and chairs and shelving and cases and coolers and computers and all that stuff. Um, and then I already had a lot. So I am equipped right now to open up an LGS at some point. I'm not exactly certain as to when I'm going to make this happen. Uh, I will definitely keep you all apprised. If you're interested, if not, you know, hey, I understand. Um, but as I said, the two things are separate. Um, I'm not going to, I have, uh, separate accounts and everything for both. So, uh, because my view is channel money is just going to be used for the channel and cause that's what I've been doing for ever. Uh, the, the little bit of money I get from YouTube and, and the, the wonderful patrons, all of that money goes into the Cure for the Common Game account, and I use that to buy deck boxes and sleeves and, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, 
it's hard to find deck boxes right now. Um, the Boulder, though, uh, the the Ultra Pro deck box that I've been using. Um, these, yes, that's Rogue I, I'm working on, um, are just about impossible to get right now. So, um, but Boulder, I've gotten in contact with uh, Ultimate Guard, and the Boulder has the same dimensions, just about. It's just a little bit smaller, which is fine. It, it'll still fit in my special main wall. Um, but the Boulder, that's a good looking case. And they make them in clear, so it, it, it wouldn't be like rock. Although I, I say that, there's over the years, there's a lot of different color sleeves, which makes them look different. Yeah. Uh, but I can switch to the boulder if need be. Uh, I've contacted Ultra Pro a couple times and I haven't gotten no response, but uh, Ultimate Guard got back with me pretty quick. Um, so I've been using Ultra Pro supplies forever. And uh, yeah, y'all know how that's gone. I am not sponsored. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure when the shop will open. Um, I will reopen it under the same name, Canada's Collectible Games. Uh, also, CCG. I know that's, that's a thing I have for those letters, apparently. Um, and uh, I have already started uh, a TCG player store for uh, a lot of the inventory that I bought from that shop. Um, so if you know anybody who is, you know, looking for Pokemon cards or whatever, or even some magic cards, Canada's Collectibles on TCG Player is what I'm listed as. Just getting started. I'm level one, so I don't have a whole lot of stuff on there yet. Uh, but we're going to grow. And yeah, um, me personally, uh, I have one child left in school. Uh, he's a sophomore. So, uh, that's the baby. Uh, I have found, um, have gone through some personal things. I have found a wonderful, loving partner to share my life with. So, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Um, and t t one thing, uh, another purpose for this is I would like to do a question and answer uh, to video, so uh, I need questions. So, y'all just post questions here. You can email them uh, to the email address. You can do it in the comments to message me. I mean, you know, any way you want. Um, because I know there's a whole lot of questions. Because this is this is not normal. <laughs> or if you have any questions about the uh, upcoming shop, so. That is what I have been up to. Um, I am, uh, I guess, right now before before I, I get the shop open. I'm um, am I a full time content creator now? Hmm. Guess I am. <laughs> but I do appreciate y'all guys uh, uh, watching. You know. Because I, I, uh, I've never viewed myself as an authority on, on this, just giving my opinions and uh, just have the benefit of I have been playing this game for, what was I started in 94, 27 years. Wow, yeah, that's a long time. Um, so, I guess something I, two things I know about is how to sell a can of corn and how to <laughs> build a magic deck, so... <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Uh, the The journey has been wonderful and we are far from over. Uh, I keyed in um, on my spreadsheet. I keyed in the Strixhaven commanders and the Strixhaven commander commanders. And I think that puts the legend count up to 1114, if I'm not mistaken. It's hard. I've had to write that thing because... If you if you use Gatherer or Scryfall, it's going to give you, it's going to count like the two legends on either side of a card as two different cards, 
um, and it's going to count all the partners individually, stuff like that. So um, even that 1114 is not a hard number because that's counting the partners individually. And of course, you bang those out two at a time. Well, except for Krom. I did Krom by himself just because Krom. But I played Krom the other night. Didn't work as well as I wanted. Um, instant speed board wipes hurt. Uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, uh, and I think, what is that, 675, I've got 76 ready to go. And um, I'm more than 75% of the way done with, I don't know, 40 decks there. So uh, I, we're coming along nicely. And if I can start cranking these out a lot quicker, maybe I can get to my 200 decks for the year I had wanted to. And I would like to do more than that because, I mean, I got time. <laughs> what else am I doing? So I just want to thank you all so much for the support this far along in the quest. And uh, I look forward to many more years of Canada's random thoughts on magic. Um, oh, it's one thought I had, though, was uh, you all remember back at the 100 Days of Magic. Uh, it's in a playlist there the EDH set reviews I started doing on like the old sets. I think I'm going to pick that back up because that was, that was some good stuff. Um, I enjoyed doing it. I think y'all enjoyed watching it. It, it, it may have um, showcased a couple of several cards that was kind of falling out of favor just because it's so old, but good, you know. So that's what we'll do. Um, I appreciate it. And, uh, I have got decks to build, so uh, I appreciate y'all watching. And, and uh, I know I've said that a million times, but I, I can't say it enough. Uh, thank y'all so much. But right now, I think we're going to shuffle and cut.